This is Six Minute English from bbclearningenglish.com. Hello, I'm Rob, and this is Six Minute English. I'm joined this week by Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Rob. Now, Jennifer, we're here in our brand new building, new broadcasting house, and it's quite impressive, isn't it? Oh yes, it's fantastic. It's really modern and very spacious too.、Mm, but come on, there must be something about the place you find annoying. Well, yes, like every office, I think there are lots of unwashed coffee cups left on desks and rubbish lying around. I really hate that. Ah,、uh, you see, not everything is perfect. Someone else's office habits can be a real irritation, or sometimes we say it's something that gets under our skin. Well, you're not alone. A new survey has revealed the most annoying habits, and I'll be sharing them with you soon and explaining some related words and phrases. But first, I have a question for you. That is annoying. I always have to answer one of your questions. Well, you love it, really. <laughs> Now, do you know what the annoying habit of onocophagia is commonly known as? That's onocophagia. Is it A. Picking your nose, B. Biting your nails, or C. Talking very loudly? No,、oh, those are all very bad habits.、Uh, I'm going to go for、ooh, A. Picking your nose. Well, I'll let you know the answer at the end of the program. Now let's get back to those annoying habits that some people have in the workplace or the office. The Institute of Management recently questioned 2,000 managers to find out their pet hates of office workers. Pet hates are the small annoying habits that really irritate someone. So this survey asked the managers what annoyed them about their staff. Oh no, no, no! It was about what managers believed annoyed their workers about each other. Here is what one office worker thinks: tapping of feet, noise,、uh, tapping of desk, just anything like that. I like quiet, so I sometimes work with headphones in. Hmm, tapping on your desk like this can be so annoying. In fact, any kind of tapping because it's so distracting. In other words, it breaks my concentration. Well, that man decided to wear headphones to block out the sound, but for the person doing the tapping. How can they kick the habit or stop doing it? Having a bad habit could be the sign of concentration or nerves or even boredom. So we should have some sympathy. I do, but one thing I don't have sympathy for is this habit being described by another office worker. See if you can hear what it is. Total jargon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the whole language、um, invented to sort of put you off your game in a way.、Um, you know, it's completely exclusive, and I don't even think half half the management know what they're talking about. Yes, talking in jargon. These are words and phrases used by managers that don't really have any meaning outside the workplace. It's sometimes called management speak. And it's this issue that is near the top of the list of the most annoying office habits. Jen, does your boss use any jargon? Oh, I couldn't possibly say he might be listening. But there are phrases that get used generally. Have you heard of thinking outside the box to mean to think imaginatively with new ideas instead of traditional ones? Yes, I have. And what about going forward to mean in the future and to touch base, meaning to discuss progress? I think workers get irritated by this jargon because it's not how someone would normally speak. Okay, Rob, what's top of the list for annoying habits? Well, the biggest bugbear, another way of saying irritation, is arriving late for meetings. That is annoying when you've made an effort to be punctual, you know, on time. I think some people are late because they're having a water cooler moment. You know, standing by the water cooler discussing something trivial about what was on TV last night. That's so annoying. You'd never catch me doing that. Yeah, of course not, Jen. But if every office worker has a bugbear about their colleagues, who can sort out this tense office atmosphere and make everyone more tolerant or willing to accept their habits? Charles Elvin is the chief executive of the Institute of Leadership and Management. Let's find out who he thinks is responsible for this. Managers are part of the workforce too, and, and their obligation is to try and address some of these issues and to make sure that they have those challenges that they've got, that the things that annoy people、um, are addressed, that they're resolved, that people can and, and air their grievances、um, properly. So it's very important for managers to understand what people don't like, but also managers don't like a lot of this stuff as well. Charles Elvin thinks that managers have a responsibility or an obligation to address the problems, 
And he says people should be able to air their grievances. That means people can speak out about what annoys them. Well, I can tell you what annoys me most about you. Oh, sorry, Jen, we're out of time. Let me just tell you the answer to today's question. Earlier, I asked you if you knew what the annoying habit of onychophagia is commonly known as. Was it A, picking your nose, B, biting your nails, or C, talking very loudly? And I said A, picking your nose. That is disgusting, but you are wrong. Onychophagia is the medical term for biting your nails. OK, a y well, finally, before we go, Jennifer, could you remind us of some of the words we have heard today? Yes, we heard. Get under our skin. Pet hates. Distracting. Kick the habit. Jargon. Bugbear. Punctual. A water cooler moment. Tolerant. To air your grievances. Thanks, Jennifer. Well, that's all we have time for today. Please join us again soon for more six minute English from bbclearningenglish.com. Bye. Bye. That was six minute English from bbclearningenglish.com.